We're gonna do um, a fun flow today and I'm gonna highlight some really key poses um, beneficial to all the golfers out there. Okay, we're going to start seated. So make yourself nice and comfortable. And it all begins with the breath. Let's turn our palms up. And I want you to focus on that simple, gentle flow of breath in and out through your nose. And that helps us to slow down, to arrive, and to focus within. Picking up on those subtle signals our body is sending. The essence of yoga really is just uh, finding that union between our mind and our body. Let's take a few more deep, gentle breaths together. And together, let's take a big inhalation. Reach high, look up. Exhale your hands to your heart center. And maybe bow your head here and just set an intention. Your focus, your dedication for your practice today. And from here, let's just lean forward slightly. Your elbows rest on your thighs or knees or ahead of your knees. And just start to bow here. We're stretching into the back body. And then release your palms down to the floor mat. And if you want, you can slide your fingertips out a little further as you drop the weight of your head. So chin falls right into your chest. And I want you to breathe deeply into the back ribs. And then slowly, as you tuck your chin, stack through the spine as you sit up. We'll take the foot that's behind to the front. Together, big breath in. Exhale, hands back to your chest, bow forward, and then explore here. Maybe hands again to the earth as you bow a little deeper or not. Constant communication is key within. And again, slowly round through the spine to sit up tall. And we're gonna turn over on our mat into a child's pose. We'll begin in a tabletop onto the hands and knees, and then you can bring your knees a little wider if you like. Big toes are connected. You're going to melt your hips to your heels, extend your arms, and surrender your head, your brow, all the way to the mat or block or stack down. The arms are passive, so not so much an active reach. It's a relaxation pose. Letting go. And we're creating a little amphitheater here for our breath. You can hear the breath in and out through the nose. And let that set the tone for your practice. And remember, you can come back here anytime. Let's take one more cycle of breath. And let's float slowly forward back into that tabletop. So onto hands and knees. And let your belly relax. So neutral spine, soft belly. We'll do some spinal extension and flexion, beginning with a happy cat or cow. Inhale, look up, lift your heart. Mad cat, exhale, round it out. Push the ground away from you with those hands. Two more cycles. Exaggerate that motion in your hips, as well as that arc of the spine. Last one. Good, and then just release, let it go. Soft, neutral spine. Okay, next we're going to get into our bird dog pose. And this is really good for promoting core strength and working on balance and coordination. So all three of those things are really essential to um, the game of golf. We're going to tuck your right toes under, slide back, push through your heel. Nice calf stretch to begin. And then relax the leg and we're raising it up just as high as your hip. And we want to keep that back foot flexed. So you're pushing through your heel, those toes tuck toward your face. And our hips are even to the floor. 
So notice if your right hip is opening to the side, try to point it straight down. And then when you're ready, you could take your left arm forward, thumb up, and reach. Find that line of energy, reaching through your fingertips, pushing back through your heel. Your gaze is to the mat, so keep your neck long and neutral. You can tap down and hand or foot at any time here. Okay, we're working on building that core strength. Just make sure you're breathing. If you want to add a little bit of uh, dynamic core movement, inhale to really stretch. Exhale, elbow to me as you round. We call it a tiger curl with the back. Inhale, lengthen. Two more. Flow with your breath. Exhale. Last one. Inhale to extend, and then exhale, hand and knee down. Release that. Sway those hips. You can roll your head from shoulder to shoulder, loosening up through the neck. And we'll come back to center. Left toes tuck under, slide back, push through the heel. Good. Relax the leg, bring it up. Right arm reaches out. Belly draws into the spine, especially on that exhale. So inhale for length reach. Exhale, tiger curl, elbow to knee. Inhale long. Exhale round. Last time. Inhale to lengthen. And then exhale, release, let it go. And you can, again, release by swaying through the hips. Find that freedom to move. We're awakening that kinesthetic awareness, that proprioception awareness. And that's just how your body moves. And that is really helpful when you're trying to fine tune your ball swing, okay? You notice the imbalances. You notice where you're tight need to work on your mobility. We'll come back through to center tabletop. Make sure there's space between your knees. Hands are under shoulders. Fingertips spread nice and wide. And we're going to prepare for downward facing dog. Let your chin fall to your chest. Look between your knees. Unlock those elbows and draw them in. Tuck all ten toes. Let's lift those knees up and away as you shift the hips up and over the heels. Look between your feet. Take that dog for a walk. One heel up, other down. And again, you can alternate peeking under either arm. And then we'll come to Tippy toes, both heels lift up, bend your knees, inhale, gaze forward. So we're in a crouch position as you exhale, deep and push back. And again, inhale, flow with your breath. Exhale. Last time. Exhale to hold back in your down dog. Let's hold this inversion for a few cycles of breath. Remember to keep the elbows soft. Chin toward chest, knees can be unlocked, and heels do not need to touch the floor. Feel soft and strong here. And scan your body from hands to feet. Notice where you can adjust. And then we're going to gaze forward and walk your feet toward your hands. Hands toward feet. Uttanasana forward fold. Knees are soft. We're just sort of pouring out our upper body forward. You can take your elbows if you like and just rag off to sway. Maybe let your belly graze across your thighs. Good. Come back to center. Let your hands fall toward the earth. Just let go. And then hands on hips. Inhale, flat back. Look forward. Exhale the rest of the way. Let your heart lead. You can take a little back bend here, tracing your eyes back, and release. Good. Let's find our mountain standing foundation pose. So we start from the ground up, and you want your feet about hip distance apart. 
You can spread out those toes like you're opening a paper fan. Okay, arms are long by your sides, palms forward. And just draw that energy up from the earth through your legs, throughout your body, keeping your knees soft. So we're rooting down through the feet, but we're lifting up through the heart. Just take a moment here, scanning, noticing. And then inhale, reach high, look up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Just pause for a moment. We're going to release your arms. We're gonna get into a nice stretch to open the front of the shoulders and the chest. So we're going to interlace your hands at your low back. And then once you have that connection, lift your shoulders up, back, and down. So shoulder blades pretty close together. Keep those knees soft. As you breathe in, look up. As you breathe out, slowly hinge at your hips and pause when your heart faces the floor. So from here, you release the weight of your head, chin falls to your chest. And listen to your body. We're getting into your hamstrings here. So as you start to bow deeper, pause when you feel the adequate stretch. Don't force further. The hands can come up and over the head, although it's not necessary. Just breathe here. Now if you want, you can find a little pulse. Bend your knees slightly as you inhale, gaze slightly up. And then exhale to bow. Just breathe. Opening the front of the body, countering that slouchy posture. Let's release your hands, let them fall like a rag doll, just let go. Now decompressing through the spine to standing. So we start to stack one vertebra upon the other as you come up slowly. And then finally lift your shoulders up, back, and down. And we're back in mountain pose, Tadasana, our standing foundation. Again, just rooting here. Next, we're going to open through the sides of the body. On an inhalation, reach high. Now imagine you're holding a beach ball here. As you exhale, let's bend over to the right side. Inhale, lengthen tall. Exhale to the other side. Breathe in, lift. Exhale back to the right. This time we're holding here. We're going to stay for a few breaths. Tilt your chin toward that top arm to keep the head neck neutral. So opening through the side body helps us create more length in the torso. And this allows us to swing a golf club more freely. We're not encumbered with tightness. So let's just breathe deeply here. It also allows for deeper breath, which helps us to find better focus and more calm, which is essential when you're golfing. You're tending to get stressed out. Inhale, rise up and reach. Other side, exhale again. Tilt that chin up. Nice, steady, smooth breath. Inhale to lift, nice and slow. Exhale, hands connect, and bring them to your chest. And release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands to heart, have a seat. Utkatasana chair pose. This is a really powerful strengthening posture. You wanna keep your heart up, your tailbone tucked. You look down, your knees are behind your toes. And just let the breath flow throughout your body here. Let's take two more cycles of breath. Your next inhale, whenever that is, I want you to inhale, stretch to the sky. Soften those knees as you exhale, fold in half. Breathe in, half lift, look forward. Exhale, pour it out, release. Again, just pause here, right dog. I want you to soften your knees enough you can touch the floor. And we are going to step your right foot up and reach it back into a lunge position. Front knee over ankle, feel heavy through the hips. So this is a really good stretch for your hip flexor. 
flexors and psoas and really important for overall mobility. So just pause here, maybe lift your gaze to deepen slightly and then you can bring the back knee to the floor. Getting into the hamstring muscles again. So let's walk the hands back as you pull those left toes away from the floor and you're bowing to the leg. So to keep it uh, more passive, less intense, allow the rounding of your back. For more intensity, keep the back straight and just bend. Hinge on the hips, meet with the heart. Give it a few breaths. Maybe move those toes side to side, getting into all those muscles. And then slowly walk forward, frame your foot with your hands. On an inhalation, reach high, frame your face. And exhale, hands gather to your heart. Breathe in, extend the spine forward, bow. Exhale, twist. So right elbow to the outside of the left knee, or you can use a hand or forearm. Gazing over that left shoulder. Option for a little more power here, a little more challenge. You could tuck your back toes, lift that knee. Okay, so this deeper rotation is going to help bring greater torque into your golf swing. That's good motivation to twist. Let's take one more big breath. Inhale to lift, face forward, and exhale, hands to the mat. If your knee was down, let's lift it up. Look forward and step forward. Inhale, half up, look ahead, hands to mat or shins. Exhale, heavy core. Bend knees, touch mat, lift on an inhale, your left leg high, and step. Come into that lunge, front knee over ankle, heavy. Feel that opening on the left hip. Just pause, maybe gaze up, and then release that back knee. So again, let's walk your hands back as you pull the right toes away from the mat and bow here. Again, you can round the back or keep it flat. We just want to do the same thing on both sides. Bring it forward, walk ahead, line up knee over ankle. Energetic inhale, lift. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, bow, reach the crown forward. Exhale, twist to the right. So the left elbow hooks, or hand or forearm, gaze over right shoulder. And again, maybe the back toes tuck, and you lift that knee. Totally optional. Bringing out that soft tissue around your spine, keeping the spine nice and long. One more breath. Inhale, face forward. Exhale, hands to the earth. If your back knee is down, let's lift it up. Step forward. Keep your knees nice and soft. Reverse swan. Inhale, wide arms. Open, look up. Exhale, hands to heart. And then just let it go. Let's find our mountain pose. So the next uh, sequence we're going to do is to work on balance. If you uh, have a chair nearby or you want to use a wall for support, please do. Okay, so let's connect feet to the earth, even weight on both feet. And then I want you to shift a little more weight into the right side. We're gonna bring the left knee up for a hug. You can flex the left foot so the toes flick up. Utida hasta simply means Leg open to the side. We're gonna take your right arm out to help balance. And then steer the left knee open. So here's our hip opener. Keep your hips square to the front. And play around with your gaze. Yoga, we call it drishti. Easiest to look at the earth. 
And then you can play around, explore, challenge to look at that right hand. So ideally we wanna hold for five breaths, give or take. And the next part of this sequence is to bring the left knee back for that hug, reach for your foot, and then we're gonna come into what I call our tree pigeon. We bring the ankle across the thigh as we bend. You can encourage hand on left knee. Keep the left foot flexed. This helps protect your knee. And we're also strengthening that right knee, that supportive leg. So stay with your heart up or too deep and you can start to bow forward, look at the earth. And the more you bend, the deeper you'll feel it. Nice stretch in that outer left hip. And if you're walking the golf course, you need to have good, strong knees, muscles around them for support. Let's take one more breath together. And then by straightening that support leg, we release, let it go. Now let's pause here. I like to compare the size now. That's that. Uh, kinesthetic awareness, proprioceptive awareness. So we can really feel how imbalanced we are. We've created an imbalance, so let's even that out. Shift a little more weight to your left side. Right knee comes in for a hug. Flex the toes up. Left arm extends out to help you balance. And then the right hand steers your knee open. We'll see the hasta. And again, drishti, can explore, be curious. This really helps to improve your concentration and focus. Let's bring the knee back for the hug. Reach for your foot and then drape it across your left thigh, just above the knee as you bend that supportive leg. So right hand can gently encourage the, the knee open a little more. And as you sit, keeping that right foot flexed, you could deepen by bowing forward. You'll feel it a little deeper. So keep communicating within. Your body will tell you yes or no. Good, and one more breath. And again, to release, we just start to straighten that supportive leg and let it go back into mountain. Together, let's take a nice big inhale, stretch high, look up, and exhale, hands to your heart center. Let's pause here. Again, notice left, right side body should be balanced, so let that balance emerge. And that improves your overall performance in any sport, really. Let it go. Let's meet back at the top of the mat. Inhale, stretch to the sky. Soften those knees. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in happiness. Look ahead. Exhale, release. Good, soften the knees, touch the floor. Let's walk to a plank. So top of a push-up. Super core work here. Shoulders back from your ears, crown reaches out. Legs are charged up, we push through the heels. And we breathe. Let's bring those knees down softly. Untuck the toes. Inhale. Elbows bend as you exhale, slowly release down. Inhale, peel the heart up off the mat. Exhale, roll shoulders up, back and down. Crown still reaching out, neck is long. Maybe the hands float away from the mat. Breathe in, one more breath. And then exhale, hands Push the ground away as you shift back to tabletop. Tuck your toes under, downward facing dog. Just 
neutralizing here. You can walk the dog or just be nice and steady here. Connect to the stillness of the pose maybe. And then release your knees softly. And let's find a child's pose, Balasana. So mounting the hips back, again, releasing through the head. And I want you to channel that breath toward that space in your low back. Feel that expansion. If you want, you can open your palms or bend the elbows and hands on my head. Doing a nice little tricep stretch. Enjoy this moment of being, not doing. always a treat to spend time in this resting, digesting state of being versus that fight flight. Release the hands and let's move back to tabletop. All right, downward facing dog, tuck toes, push hips up and back. Keep those knees nice and soft. We're going to inhale your right leg up. Exhale, bend the knee, and then scorpion. So we face your hips open to the right. If you want, you can circle your knee around. And then inhale, hips face the floor. Exhale, the right knee toward your nose. Shoulders over wrist pause. Working on your core strength. Inhale, foot up. Exhale, knee behind right wrist and land. So we're going to release your left knee down, uncurl the toes, and then maybe slide the left leg back. If you take a little peek behind, your legs in the center of the mat. And your toes, your right toes toward the left edge of your mat. Be very mindful of your knee. If this is not comfortable, you can come onto your back and thread the needle, okay? We start with straight arms. You may want to use a block or a pillow for this pose. So start with heart lifted. Kind of ease into it. Feel that outer right hip. And then we slowly start to bow. We want the elbows as wide as the mat if you're coming forward. You can stack your hands or use that block to rest your brow. And then you want those shoulders away from your ears. And see if you can square your hips to the mat. So that might mean lowering your left hip bone down and drawing your right hip back. Maybe take a sigh, really let the body get heavy here. The more you release and relax, the deeper you'll go into the pose. And this posture can help alleviate lower back pain. Really important. Take another breath or two. And then allow the head to float from the block. Walk the hands under the shoulders and come back to a lifted pigeon. Now if you want, you can try the proud pigeon where we just lift your palm. So just the fingertips touch the mat. Tuck the tailbone down, raise your gaze. And again, opportunity to have some fun, explore here. Maybe take one hand to your head. See how that feels. That's okay, maybe both hands. the shoulders for a stretch. 
We're going to inhale your right hand up and up. This is like a rotation of a golf swing, right? We're gonna exhale under, don't land. Just thread through. Inhale, open. Exhale. One more time, inhale. And this time, exhale through and we can bring it down. So the back of your shoulder comes to the floor and your right cheek is on the mat. Your left elbow falls, so you tend to hold it up, but just let it relax. And again, get heavy here. Feel that opening behind you. If you want the left hand, you can find your low back, palm face out. Open the front of that shoulder. Good, if that hand is back, release to the mat. And we're gonna push into that left hand to lift up. The right hand rotates back out. And then exhale to tabletop. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Tap the toes, press back. Soften the knees and inhale your left leg to the sky. Exhale, bend the knees, scorpion. Hips face out, gaze under your arm. Option two, get dynamic in that left knee. And then inhale, hips face the mat. Exhale, knee to nose, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, foot lifts. Exhale, bring it forward and land, pigeon. Right knee connects, untuck the toes, maybe slide the leg back. Look back. Make sure the leg is centered. And we start with our heart lifted. And you can stay here. You don't have to bring it forward. But you want to get some yin energy, some calming, soothing energy. You can bring your elbows down wide and either use hands or walk to support your head. Try to relax here. There is definitely effort. We want to balance that out with a feeling of surrender. The key being balance. So again, maybe your right hip drops a little forward and your left slides back. Just square the hips. Consciously trying to release and soften. Let's take another breath or two. And allowing your head to lead the way to release. We're going to walk those arms back to straight. And we'll take it a little higher. Palms peel off the mat, tuck the tail, lift the gaze. Maybe try one hand to hip, possibly the other. In fullest expression here, we release the arms and lift. Hands to heart and to the earth. Slowly slide the left knee back, come into a Tabletop foundation pose. Inhale the left hand out and up, rotating. And then exhale, thread under, don't land, just hover. Inhale, expand. And exhale. One more. All the way down, rest heavy. Now make sure that right elbow is relaxed. You can even take the hand to your low back. Opening through the front of that shoulder. You can feel those muscles melting behind the left side, releasing with each breath. The right hand is behind. Bring it back to the mat on your shoulder. Push it to the earth. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, tabletop. 
Nice. Okay, down dog. Neutralize, reset. You're welcome to take child's pose at any time. Let's try to inhale, bring it forward to a plank pose. Okay, so let's bring the knees down once more. Uncurl the toes, inhale. And exhale, slowly lower down, land softly. Breathe in to lift the heart a little to cobra, or you can bring it up and through to up dog or bamuka. Now from here, I want you to release, bend the elbows, come back down. Crocodile pose. We stack the hands, elbows are wide, and our forehead rests upon the hands. You can let your ankles fall open. Maybe that big, heavy sigh fall into your mat. Option to bend your knees and just windshield wiper. And if your feet are moving, you can release them back. Be still for a moment. We're going to work on strengthening the back, which is also core. Let's lift our brow just off the hand, so we're still looking down. I want you to expand your arms wide, so we're in a T position. Bring your feet closer together if that's comfortable, if not, hip distance is okay. Shalambhasana or locust pose. On an inhale, pull the feet, sorry, the hands off the floor, and then exhale, lift the feet, maybe the thighs. So squeeze the shoulder blades together behind you, so open through the chest. Spread fingers, spread toes. Crown reaches out. Deep breath here. One more cycle. Lift higher. Exhale, release to your right cheek. Let everything fall to the floor. Now I want you to take your left hand under the shoulder on the mat. Bend your left knee. And then we're going to use the left hand to push the ground away. We're going to open through the chest and hip. And the left foot falls behind you. So we're getting a really deep, super deep stretch on the front of your right shoulder. Also, hip opener on the left. It's two to one. Slowly, softly, release hips to the mat. Back into the T position, inhale. Lift the arms, hands, exhale, feet, legs. Keep breathing. Inhale, a little bit higher. Exhale, release, left cheek to the mat. Right hand on each shoulder. Push that hand into the floor as you open to the right. Sorry, bend the, the right foot. Drop it back as you open to the right. Feels so nice and so beneficial to open to the chest, open the shoulders. We create a lot of tightness. Front and back. Let it go, release right hand to the floor as you softly rotate back to the mat. One more Shambhasana Locust. Inhale, lift upper body. Exhale, lower. Breathe in a little higher. Exhale, release hands beneath shoulders, push the ground away. And we're going to take a child's pose. We need to round out that low back. So just sink back. Heavy head. Any variation you like with your arms, you are practice. And then we're going to let the head float into tabletop. And we'll take another flow. If you want, you can take child's pose, stay a little longer. 
tuck those toes, push back. Inhale to plank. Knees or no knees. Exhale to chaturanga. So we either come halfway or you can land. Uncurl the toes. Inhale, lift that heart. If you're an up dog, try to pull the knees away from the mat. Really push those hands down. And flick those toes under your hips to the sky. Down dog. Okay, one more uh, core strengthening posture. We're going to inhale forward to plank. Now hold as you breathe. I want you to bring your left hand a little closer to your right. We're going to open your hips to the left, stack your feet, and come into a side plank. So if that's a little too challenging, you can stagger your feet, or you can take the left foot bent knee and really push it into the floor to get those hips up higher. And lift high. This is a good IT band stretch if you've got the foot to the mat. Release slowly, rotate back, left hand to the floor, pivot so you can step to plank. This time left hand, or sorry, right hand toward left, open hips right, stagger stack, or bent knee, foot flat, side plank. And release. Good. Plank pose. Final push here. Inhale for strength. Exhale, chaturanga. Uncurl toes. Inhale, up. And exhale. Last down dog for today. Notice the difference between this and that very first one where we felt super stiff. Exploring that space you've created in your body. Release your knees all the way down. And then we're just going to land the hips and come into Dandasana. So our legs are straight and it's a L sit position. A really good posture to help balance the left right side of the body is to do half forward of the fishes uh, or also known as just a seated twist. Okay, so we're going to Bend your right knee, adjust your seat if needed, you want those sitting bones connected to the earth, and we'll take the right foot maybe up and to the outside of the leg. If you find that lifts your right sit bone, just bring your foot back. Opposite hand to that knee, right hand behind hip, nice and close. You want to straighten that back arm and that is going to prop you up, sit nice and tall. This helps to improve our posture lengthens out the spine. Let's begin with an inhale. As you exhale, we twist, we turn, rotate, look over the right shoulder and pause. Now that hand on knee, you can hug it in toward the midline of your body to deepen. Remember our mantra, root down to rise up. So the hips, the sitting bones are rooting down, the spine is lifting, rising up. As you twist and turn. Release for a moment, come back. If you want to deepen, you can take the elbow to the outside of that thigh and twist back for a couple more rounds. And then slowly let it go. Come back to face the front, uncross, switch sides. So left knee comes in. Maybe the foot comes to the outside of your leg. Opposite hand to knee, left hand behind hip. Nice and tall. Inhale. Exhale, slowly turn. Look beyond your shoulder. Look out of the very corner of your eye. Right hand hugging that knee into center. Slowly let it go, turn to face the front. Option to take elbow to the outside of that knee and twist back in. And just remain as you were. And again, slow release, come back to the front. Nice, okay. Both 
knees are bent, let's just find the center of our mat. We're going to lower down. So we can begin with our hands behind the thigh and just sort of tiptoe your feet in. So lean your weight back, maybe float the feet up into Navasana boat pose. Squeeze those knees together, maybe the palms open, chest is lifted, gaze is up. Try for straight legs, deep breaths. And bring your hands behind thighs, drawing for a hug. Tuck the chin as you see from this point, we're gonna roll back. Head to the floor. Circle those knees around. And release your feet flat. Hip distance apart. Arms are nice and long. Bridge pose. The inhale, hips lift from the earth. Exhale, maybe take that grip. So maybe take your opposite non-dominant grip. This is the second time you've interlaced fingers this practice. So it's the one that feels kind of funny. Your other index finger is forward. If your hands are connected, we are rooting down through the forearms, lifting up to the tailbone. Keeping the softness in the well of your throat for that breath to travel throughout. Heart's getting calm, even when we're challenged. Rooting down to those heels to lift up to the tail. Hands can release, palms down. And then as your chin tucks slightly, we're gonna roll through the spine, or release through the spine, come all the way down. Let your arms go away from you, palms up. And just take a moment here. Rest and digest. Slowing down the breath even more. Notice the heart rate slows, the thoughts slow, we're more present, more connected within. Bring the soles of your feet together, let your knees fall open. Arms can stay as they are, or you can take hands to belly and one hand to your heart. And just observe, witness the gentle rhythm of your breath. Let that rhythm serenade you to calm, to relaxation. Let's take our hands softly on the thighs and close our knees together. Counter that pose by heels pulling your feet apart and just let your knees fall together. Let's extend the arms out nice and wide. And let's let both knees fall to the right as you turn your head to the left and let go. Notice you're holding the weight of your legs. Just release to gravity. center feet flat exhale knees left gaze to the right release and breath in brings you back through to center exhale heel toe feet in give yourself a nice well-deserved hug and you can circle those knees around massaging your low back to here and then we can take our happy baby pose come to center and we'll read our way into it so 
As you inhale, let your knees, thighs float away from you, arms straighten, create space. Exhale, draw in, get into that space, elbows toward the floor. Again, inhale. Exhale, bring the knees a little wider maybe. One more time. This time, hold inward. And then flex the feet, soles to the sky. Grip the insides of your feet, arches, or ankles, and draw knees to underarms. Try to extend your tailbone flat to the floor. Take those nice, big, spacious belly grabs. You can be still, or you can be dynamic and add a gentle sway, rocking side to side. Also, be playful with your legs, stretching, straightening, maybe adjusting your grip to your toes, just take the legs a little wider, a little straighter, it's your practice. Then release back into that hug, make a nice tight ball with your body, forehead to knees, squeeze in. Plug in the benefits, the many, many benefits. Let it go. Feet to the floor. Let's extend your feet toward the bottom corners of your mat. Extend your arms wide, palms face up to receive calm energy. Make any wiggles, adjustments you need to. Sink into stillness, into Shavasana corpse pose, so let any negative elements within you die off, create more space for new energy. You're not trying to control your thoughts, just letting them flow in, flow out. toes, maybe rotate wrists and ankles. Let's bring our feet closer together and let your arms rest back behind the head. Be soft here. And then inhale, bring some energy back into the body as you lengthen, stretch. And then exhale, soften. One more time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, release. Palms together at your heart center. Let's take a moment of gratitude. Bend your knees slowly. Let's roll over to one side. Either use hands as a pillow or bicep. And curl your knees nice and close to your chest. Let's pause here, not rushing away. And then allowing mindfulness and that activity within and that kinesthetic awareness lead us into the rest of our day. Let's push our hand into the floor to come upright and we'll come into a comfortable seated posture. If you want, you can sit on a block or a pillow for our final meditative breaths together. We'll place our palms up, sitting nice and tall, notice that the length of our spine, just reflecting on our journey on that focus and tension you set at the beginning of our practice. Remember that yoga is 
is truly the fountain of youth. And Bob Parker famously said, we are only as young as our spine is supple. With the help of yoga in our lives, we will keep our spine youthful, prevent aches and pains and injury, just move more freely, greater comfort and ease in our bodies. Together, big inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, home to your heart. Namaste.